Hi everyone, it's Susan and I'm joining you real quick before I leave for work for a real quick what's on your work desk Wednesday taping and I have discovered monoprinting via the gelatin plate system. I created um, on Monday, I created my own DIY no gelatin rubber plate using the new product by Amazing Crafting Products. And here's one that I made. I actually made two of them. This is made out of a silicone rubber molding compound and it's called Amazing Mold Rubber. And I'll put the link to how I did this, but I wanted to share what I'm going to do. I made, this one is about six inches by seven inches. This one is a larger one that I used to make these and this one will be at home this one is three by four and is perfect size for my artist trading cards and the reason i'm sharing today is if you see the mess of the photo that i showed i had this space completely covered in stuff that i am packing a creative lunchbox i am a creative hoarder and i'm not going to uh, try and hide that fact but I do save things for creative purposes uh, that I can use for other ways and I have this little lunchbox that I have been saving I got it at a scrapbooking event or something it was filled with a bunch of papers I dumped it out this is going to be the perfect size to take a bunch of crafty stuff with me I spend about 10 to 12 hours a day at work and this little guy it's unmolded it's just a pristine slab of silicone i molded it right to my acrylic stamping block and someone asked me yesterday what i how i was going to house this little guy well when i get to work today um i work at a print shop and i have to make film i have a lot of leftover acetate that ends up getting thrown away every time i have to make the film but how I'm going to transport this little guy is creative packaging. I have this little felting kit that is in this little box that is the exact same size as this little no gelatin rubber plate that I made. And so this is going to live inside here. So I have, I don't know if y'all have some of these little clear little boxes that you keep cards in and stuff. Well, I have a load of them. I got them off some stampers at a crafty yard sale um, so I'm just going to transfer that junk into that box and I'm stealing this box for my little my new little friend here and the only thing I have to do is cut off this little tab at the top which I will do later and this little box just happens to fit inside my little lunch box here so we'll stick it in there at the end so what am I going to stick in here? I have several different things. So I'm going to be able to do my little jelly printing at my desk at work. I have a bunch of paints that don't get used very often sitting in my, okay, these will have to lay down because it doesn't close, but these are Ranger Adirondack acrylic paints. Um, I think they're under a new labeling system now, but I've had these for quite a while. I don't use them that often because they have a metallic sheen and they take a while to dry, but I think they will be perfect to use with my little faux jelly plate thing that I have going on here. So I'm going to put these little guys in the bottom. I only have six or seven colors. So these are going in here and they're going to fit perfect. way that will work best I have all the primaries I don't buy a lot of colors of a lot of things I'm gonna put a, uh, my favorite color stickles in here the icicle it this is one that you can put on top of any color any pattern whatever you do it sort of has a gold and blue and pink shimmer to it and whatever you put it over it, tr it transfers it through so that's my favorite that's going in there um, I have a little white acrylic paint dauber going in here so not packing up too much stuff now what do you do with tape spools save these things I'm packing in here some precision planned objects that will do double duty these little spools come off of um, receipt tape 
things. If you work somewhere where you come into contact with these, or you know someone who comes across them, save these things because look at the pattern. It's sort of like a little cog wheel. This one has a circular with dots. It's hard to see. Let's see if I can get that. Oh, there you, there you go. So what have I done? I wrapped washi tape and miracle tape around these. So instead of carrying these big baggies of tape around and all these rolls of washi tape, which I have, a, I'm a washi hoarder now. Um, I have about 50 rolls of these. I just took some of my favorites and rolled them around the tape spools and they're gonna go in here. Plus I have a glue stick. Plus I have a stamp block, um, a little roll of black. Here is the innards of a glue stick, which will make nice texture. Um, I have, what I have here? I have a bunch of stuff here. I have some ATC blanks that I will stick in here and a little acrylic block. I'll put some post-it notes in there. I have some little pieces of chipboard punches that will go in here. And so at the end, I'm going to leave just enough room to fit my little block in and close it all up. So I'm going to have a little travel, little stamping kit for my new little, my new little best friend. And so I'm going to take this because doing this, doing these, was so quick and easy I did all of these in about five minutes time and I can squeeze this in on my desk at work at lunchtime and so I just wanted to share because I was dying to share this idea because it just was a light bulb moment and so I'm gonna pack all this up I will make it neater so it all fits in there but I'm gonna have this little travel lunch box inside my tote bag that I take with me every day and then I also have another little zipper mesh bag that has some markers and some other things that I always carry with me and so I've got a whole kit ready to go that I could sit there and throw together an ATC at my desk in no time every day so I'm gonna make one today and I will share it with you later today so have a great creative day and thanks for joining me for what's on your work desk Wednesday bye